But since this library is cursed, it might be best if you open it. There has got to be something within these pages that will give us a clue to stopping it. Have a look, Skylander, and be careful. Before creating the portals, the ancients explored the universe using magical relics called Rift Engines. But in their haste to spread the light of Skylands to other worlds, they created a powerful rift engine that opened a door to a forbidden world and unleashed a destructive force into Skylands, the darkness. Centuries later, in the age of the Portal Masters, the Skylanders had become the greatest champions the world had ever known. No enemy or debris could stand before their might. But the darkness was still out there, somewhere laying in wait. Suddenly, tremors and aftershocks rumbled throughout the land. Some great evil was being conjured in the arcane keep of the Spellpunks. The devious Spellpunks had unearthed the very same cursed relic that had allowed the darkness into Skylands centuries ago. The Dark Rift Engine. The Spellpunks had to be stopped before they could use its power to awaken the darkness. sprang from the shadows. <laughs> to the darkness. The Skylanders fought their way through the danger, charging into the mouth of the Spellpunk Keep. began to quake, and a wave of fear swept over the land as a great and terrible shadow erupted from the keep. It bellowed in a deep and malevolent voice, Behold, Skylands, I have returned. All shall fear and obey me. I am the darkness. I had 
always heard that it was the Ancients who let the darkness into Skylands, but I've never heard about that Dark Rift engine. Still, we don't know how they managed to finally defeat it. We'll have to keep looking, Skylander. Maybe one of the others found something useful. Money. I sure hope we find a way to stop the darkness. Hey, Scarlet, look at this. You should try this one. The Charge of the First Light Squadron. It's about an elite squad of fighter pilots who took on the overwhelming forces of evil. Looks pretty turbulent in there. Best if you summon a sky vehicle if you want to take a look. Sky Slicer. As the power of the darkness grew, the marauding forces that served it took control of the skies and terrorized the land. All hope seemed lost. Until a ragtag group of pilots was assembled with a single impossible goal. To hold back the encroaching evil and give the good people of Skylands a chance to escape to safety. This first light squadron took to the skies in defiance of all odds to meet this threat head on. The darkness, underestimating our heroes, sent out a small group of fighters to crush them. And was sorely disappointed. Darkness, enraged at the squadron's continued success, brought more of its armada into the battle. But the first light squadron was undeterred. These enemies, too, would fall before the righteous might of these brave pilots. Forces were relentless in their attack. But the first light squadron was determined to destroy the Dark Galleon and cripple the Armada once and for all. Supercharged. these foes with authority and continue their quest. Invincibility.
darkness was cunning and called forth the Dark Galleon to vanquish the squadron's hopes. Thus began the final charge of the First Light Squadron. Invincibility. was impossible. Their courage would inspire all to rise up against the power of the darkness. Now that was some serious flying. You see that, Skylander? The darkness isn't all powerful. It can be beaten. You should check with Flint. He might have found something useful. Hey! It's possible. So, what I am thinking for this tale is a sort of fable on the dangers of excess. So, perhaps the hero discovers a secret room full of treasure. And not just some treasure, but a veritable cornucopia of coins and gold. But then, as they collect it, a metaphor arrives in the form of a crushing ball of covetousness. Chases the hero, destroying all in its wake. Skylanders of the fire element are stronger in this zone. The hero escapes a little richer, a little wiser. What do you think? Too highbrow? place.
I'm still poring over the book, Skylander. Don't worry, I'll find it. But I think Flynn found one. Hey, Skylander, you gotta see this book. One here talks about how the core of light got made to give the darkness the old beat down. There's probably more inside, but I'm not really in a hurry to crack it open, if you know what I mean, because it's kind of cursed, but you go right ahead. The War of the Darkness had nearly been lost as all of Skylands was being held in its terrible grip. But there was one chance. A mythical device built by the ancients to combat the darkness had been discovered. It was called the Core of Light. But finding its location would be the most dangerous mission of them all. Level up. The darkness knew the core of light would be its end, and so it attacked. Its dark power was beyond comprehension. It shattered mountains and bridges with casual disdain. The darkness's rage was earth-shaking and all-consuming, for it knew that in order for its power to grow, the core of light must stay hidden. Undaunted, even in the face of this great evil, the Skylanders continued the quest. to do its terrible bidding. But they would fall before the Skylander like limp bundles of experience and treasure. The darkness grew desperate. Again and again, it attacked with renewed fury. It's party time! journey, the lost citadel of the Portal Masters had been reached. The radiant purity of the core of light had been found at last. But in the distance, the darkness raged on. Bowsers, looks like the darkness almost conquered Skylands back in the olden days until they used the trusty core of light. But it stopped right before the good part. I totally can't wait to find out what happens next. Maybe the one Mags found will have more info. 
Don't keep me in suspense. Sea Shadow. Silent but deadly. game of Skystone's Overdrive, Skylander? I found this old book on Skystone strategies I'm dying to try out. I've been researching Skystone strategies throughout the centuries in this library. You want to give it a go? Your turn. Smoke Scream. Red Pack. Your turn. Shadow Guardian. Golden Queen. Overdrive ready. Sea Shadow. Overdrive ready. Your turn. Shadowlin. Grenade. Your turn. Percussion Pounder. Red knot. Overdrive ready. Sea shadow. Overdrive ready. Your turn. Pain glass. Cross crow. Your turn. 
Dr. Crankcase. <laughs> Brawlrus. Overdrive ready. Sea Shadow. Overdrive ready. Your turn. Threat pack. Hood sickle. Your turn. Chaos. Bone Chompy. Overdrive ready. Lift Lofter. Overdrive ready. Your turn. Taekwon Crow. Bruiser Cruiser. Your turn. Sea Shadow. Grave Clobber. Your turn. Smoke Scream. Overdrive ready. Your turn. Percussion Pounder. Victory! I'll get you next time, I'm sure. Servants of the darkness were known for keeping a lethal menagerie of creatures and beasts. None was more terrifying than the multi-headed monstrosity known as the Hydra. The Hydra's appetite for both food and destruction was without limit. Dark portal masters, in an effort to appease their favorite pets, gathered all the food in Skylands and dropped it in the sea. The people, hungry and deprived of all sustenance, called on their heroes, the Skylanders, for aid. The Skylander, heedless of danger, dove into the shadowed and endless depths of the sea to face the Hydra. But the lair of this Hydra was fraught with peril, danger, and exploding proximity mines. Hydra was not the only dangerous creature in this deep sea. 
ravenous hydra hatchlings hid, coiled in the rocks, and would strike without warning. Fabled fracture fish of foul falls swam these waters briefly. into the abyss the Skylander traveled. Finally, the Skylander descended into the lair of the Hydra. There was the pilfered food. Without hesitation, the Skylander snatched up the food. The sea crumbled and quaked as the Hydra woke. The heads of the Hydra lashed out in rage. The Skylander was cornered. Until a secret passage out of the lair was revealed. The Skylander sped away. This food was too important to risk. Faster and faster the Skylander swam. But the Hydra's speed was incredible. It churned the water into a swirling foam, gaining and gaining on the Skylander. But just up ahead, that geyser could eat. It could. The various and many jaws of the Hydra snapped at the jets of water in frustration. It had been robbed of its prize and vengeance. The Skylander returned the stolen food to the people of Skylands, thwarting this creature of darkness. Gosh, golly, that was some story, Skylander. Makes you feel like we're kind of making history ourselves right now. Wouldn't that be something if we all ended up in a book someplace, too? I bet the next book is gonna be even more exciting than this one. I think Hugo's finally managed to decide on one. You should go find him before he changes his